The new MatchFit Dado Stop from Microjig is a safer and more accurate cross-cut stop, allows for cutting very accurate cross dados with no measuring, and can even be used for calibrating your rip fence scale. And this video will show you how to do all three. Now the reason we don't use the miter gauge and the rip fence together is because once the part separates the, off, the cut part, it's now trapped between the rip fence and the blade. And so it's, there's no question, it's going to catch one of those teeth and it's gonna come flying back out at you. So when using the dado stop, when the part separates, it can twist 45 degrees. It doesn't matter. I've got more than enough room over here so that it's never gonna come into contact with the blade and come kicking back out at me. And of course, the, long, the wider your cut is, the more that hypotenuse angle increases. So the three inches is necessary to give you the space you need so that these parts can't get trapped between the fence and the blade. Now the dado stop is exactly three inches long from the tip of leg number one to the rip fence. And this is important because if I take a moment before I get started with anything else and adjust my rip fence so that the blade is just touching, just barely rubbing on leg number one, just like that. Now I know that my rip fence is set exactly to three inches. So I can come back and adjust the indicator on my rip fence scale to exactly three inches. So now I've just calibrated my rip fence scale. As long as I have this blade on my saw, any cut that I make setting the rip fence with or without the dado stop is now going to be accurate. The process starts by clamping a piece of stock to your miter gauge and trimming the end using the blade you will be working with. Then unplug the saw and set the dado stop so that the number one leg is just touching the tooth of the blade. Be sure the leg is just rubbing against the tooth but not pushing on it. Now bring the miter gauge forward with your scrap still attached. The number two leg is now set so that it's touching the end you trimmed. Now the difference between leg one and leg two is the exact kerf you'll be cutting. The scrap can now be removed from the miter gauge and the dado stop moved away from the blade so you have some room to perform step two. Set a square against the side of the dado stop orienting off leg two. Then use a piece of the stock you're actually going to inlay against the square to set leg number three. This sets the width of the cut. Now the blade needs to be set to the depth of your dado. This might be a known dimension, but the easy way to set up for a half lap, find the midpoint by cutting from both sides of a piece of your stock until the two cuts meet in the center. The rip fence is now set to the dimension of the first shoulder plus three inches for the dado stop. The first shoulder of your dado is cut referenced off of leg number one. The second shoulder is referenced off of leg number three. And any material left over in between is nibbled away, moving the part slightly between each cut. Because the dado stop is set using the material that will actually be inlaid, you get a perfect fit every time with no measuring, no marking, no test cuts. The capacity of the dado stop is 13 16 of an inch plus the thickness of your blade setup. So 15 16 with a standard full curve blade and it's capable of working with a dado stack of up to 13 16 wide. 
you can set up your dado stack for a little more than half the cut and get perfect results up to 1 and 5 8 inches wide with only two passes. The MatchFit Dado Stop is available online and in woodworking stores worldwide. Visit www.microjig.com to find where to buy and get yours today. Microjig. Work safer. Work smarter.